Welcome to another um, Cougar Academy video. This one actually probably applicable to variety of women who are currently dating or want to date or looking for love or looking for just fun, whatever your situation is. You don't actually have to be an older woman dating younger man. Listen carefully because this could help you protect yourself. There's a darker side to this universe. <laughs> so a case that comes to mind is this Australian Casanova. His name is Hamish McLean. I will put a link down in the description of this video to a documentary about him to demonstrate sort of what I'm talking about. Briefly, he was able to stash away $70 million to an unknown place around the world or probably many places uh, while living a millionaire lifestyle and driving fancy cars, wearing fancy clothes off of the backs of his female partners he scammed many women across the world most of them he deliberately picked researched and took advantage of them very proficiently essentially relieving them of their wealth <laughs> and breaking their hearts along the way a very prominent case because he was also very elusive and uh, very charming and um, a very interesting strategy he had was to admit his previous wrongdoing to his newfound partners <laughs> claiming that he has changed and somehow convinced them so one after another women lost fortunes and also lost confidence in themselves, lost confidence in men. In many cases, he involved their children. So a pretty um, heartless um, guy, right? Selfish, heartless guy. Sounds like a psychopath. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> That's the only kind of person that can do something like this and be so calculating, efficient, secretive in his dealings, convincing, just what it takes for a con man. You, on the other hand, I'm most likely to meet some kind of a local garden variety dude who is interested in taking advantage of you. So pay attention to what I'm about to say and hopefully be wiser in the future. First, know thyself. Know what you like, know what you stand for, know your values. And check with that knowledge whenever someone appeals to you and seems to be leading you to deviate from your values, from your self-knowledge. If you stay vigilant and alert, you will notice the manipulation taking place and hopefully be able to resist it and end the relationship if necessary, or not even start one. It depends on how far along things are. So know thyself know thy preferences, know thy values, know what you stand for, know your boundaries and honor them, stick to them and pay attention. Also know what your vulnerabilities are. So one common thread among the many con artists out there that have scammed women across the world is that they are always tuning in, appealing to a particular vulnerability that person has. Perhaps 
you have lost a loved one or even a dog, a pet that was a big part of your life and you're in shaky emotional grounds. Perhaps um, you have gone through something difficult in your life recently or relatively recently. Perhaps you're going through a midlife crisis and you're a little bit confused about things. Whatever is going on with you that is unsettling, financially it's unsettling, emotionally, maybe you just moved to a new town and you don't know anyone and you feel isolated and alone. Those are places, those are, that's a soil where manipulation can take root in so example a girl from my circle of acquaintances went through a very dramatic let's say breakup um, some years back three or four years back as a result of which she was very emotional she was obviously heartbroken she lost a lot of weight and, and she was generally in a very shaky place in her life, uncertain place in her life, which is natural for, for someone who has just lost a love, a long-term uh, long love. So lo and behold, she meets um, Mr. Charming who knew her from other friends and he kind of swooned in and treated her nicely and promised to take care of her, said all the things she needed to hear at the moment to surrender to him. And next thing you know, yeah, yeah. they were going places and she was paying for all of it. And of course, promising that he will pay her back for the trips, for the events that they went, for the food that they ate, for everything. And he didn't. And it went once, it went twice, it kept happening. So he was mooching off of her for a lifestyle that he wanted to have. And she didn't even have that much money. I mean, she was just a regular person working a regular job you know, living in a little one bedroom apartment with a cat. So this person didn't care. He just wanted to go to the play, those places. She, he knew she had access to it. And basically thousands of dollars later and a few months later, um, yeah, they were fighting and she was wondering, you know, what was going on. And she now had to deal with the trauma of this betrayal on top of the previous loss that was pretty recent at the time. So it compounded her emotional distress and to it added financial distress because for a lot of these trips and things that they took and she was paying for all of it, you know, she, you know, obviously put it on her credit card. <laughs> thinking he will pay her back and everything will be fine. Well, he didn't. So that's just one little example. Other examples from my personal practice is an older lady who met a guy that was about 20 years younger than her and very charming and appealed to her femininity and the fact that she was single for a long time. And, and he basically manipulated her into... Um, isolating her in her own home and away from other people so that he could make use of her however he wanted to and yes physically sexually yes but also financially um you know she ended up buying him things and she basically took care of him financially in many ways while he used both his niceness like he he would be funny charming loving caring 
one day and the next day loud yelling screaming abusive i i'm not aware of him actually physically assaulting her but emotionally he was definitely scaring the shit out of her all for personal gain um so another obviously kind of a sociopath psychopath character <laughs> again that's pretty much the only kind of person that would be able to pull off a scam like that because they are heartless they're not they don't have a conscience they don't empathize so it makes it easy for them especially if they're a little bit on the narcissistic end of the spectrum they will you know power trip from the dynamic so what I'm trying to tell you here is know your vulnerabilities and if you're in a place that's not settled that you are not moving forward from a place of stability and security, you have a vulnerability to be exploited by someone who might be interested in that. So don't be afraid to turn on bitch mode when necessary. They say, you know, nobody ever takes advantage of a bitch. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> if you start feeling like somebody's sniffing around or trying to charm you or uh, you know manipulate you into something turn on bitch mode see how fast they leave <laughs> so that's that's the sad reality of things it's that um, some people fortunately not very many but they do exist are willing to take advantage of someone else who's already in the gutter, who's already suffering one way or another because they become an easy target. So that's the dark side of it. But even if you're in a pretty nice place in your life, there might be someone that's angling to get something out of you and the dynamic suits itself for that. Like if you're an older woman with a younger man, like I said, that's a nice ego boost. Before you know it, you might be developing feelings for that person. And before you know it, the mortgage, the house, <laughs> they're on the title of your car. And in so many ways, they are entangled with you financially and manipulating you, basically leaving you very few options. And then you wake up one day and you realize what's happening and you don't know how to get out of it. So be aware. Listen. Keep your eyes open. The best thing to do is never to disclose your financial situation. I had a case where um, this guy who, you know, approached me sort of, after you know knowing me for a while and yeah first he didn't know anything about me and then he apparently researched me and saw what I was doing and one day he found out where I was living and how I was living and all of a sudden he was like really interested in me and of course I didn't fall off the Bulgarian turnip truck yesterday so I paid attention to these things. I'm like, wow, this person who before was kind of not really paying any attention to me, all of a sudden he's like really interested in me and he seemed to know things about my life that I did never tell him because I hardly even know him. But he was informed. <laughs> hmm, why wouldn't I pay attention to it? And even though it sounded like an appealing situation and he was definitely trying to make it appealing to me in many ways, I was like, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> right? So being alert probably saved me a whole bunch of trouble. And of course, as soon as he realized that there was nothing to gain, he was gone, never to be seen again. <laughs> the whole thing unraveled itself within a couple of months without any consequences, basically, you know, thankfully. 
So are you in what category are you? In the vulnerable or the secure category? Pay attention. If you're not sure, discuss the situation with your friends. See how friends see you and see the situation and maybe people who do know the person approaching you. And if you have any suspicions, do some research on the person. There are websites you can pay for 20, 30, 50 bucks, whatever, and you can get their entire uh, public record, even if they're from another state. You can look up criminal records, you can look up traffic tickets, you can look up financial things about them if, if you want to know. Um, as much as you can find out, some there are ways for people to hide that information as well. So if you are in a situation where you have a lot of assets and you don't want that to be all over the internet, you can look up services where you pay annual fees to erase yourself essentially from the websites that are providing your information for a fee to whoever wants to know about it. So again, a good thing to, to use the, the, the services as a consumer of information and a good way to protect yourself if you don't want to be out there. And some information is always out there because that's the nature of reality these days. So be aware of what's out there. Be aware of what's available to people to know about you and, and, and pay attention. Pay attention and, and just being cautious, you know, being cautious, take your time. Don't get swept away into some momentary illusion. And before you know it, it's too far down the road. So wise, be wise. Hopefully this was helpful. Give me the thumbs up if you think so. Subscribe and you'll find out more stuff from me, <laughs> the world according to me, <laughs> through my experiences, through my education, whatever, just for fun. And I will see you next time. Valentina Petrova Consulting, valentinapetrovaconsulting.com.